very good morning to all my subscribers my viewers the obedient family active citizens and nigerians thank you for joining me this morning now an investigative journalist jackson udi have come out to say that there's a serious crisis going on between bola ahmed tinubu a serious rift and a pabi on the grounds of the budget the amount that was padded into the budget that tinubu is not having it and there is a serious you know tussle going on between the two of them i'm going to be showing you an expose and the reactions of nigerians to that and the truth is that this guy is one person that has been very reliable his informations are apt in fact he was the first person to come out and talk about the death of of general lagbaja and then that time the 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 military were hiding it so they didn't want it to come out now when he brought it out they even declared him wanted i'm actually showing you pictures to that to that effect that he was actually trying to uh, thwart democracy and all that and then at the end of the day they fell and finally came and confessed to it when tinubu had to elect somebody called him acting at that point in time they did everything to cover it up but it was exposed by jackson Ude and nigeria saw it you know that it actually nigeria saw it that, that it actually happened and trust me their reaction was unbelievable now he has come out to say there's serious rift in the in between a pabio and uh, bola metinubu and we are going to be seeing that and we're going to be talking about that but before we get into that video let me quickly tell you that the nsa new ribado came yesterday to a function i think it's a conference right and then was peeling lies i told you this government is all about lies propaganda they sell nothing but deception lies and propaganda and that is why and the, the funny thing that he was bold faced saying it and nigerians have come out to knock him off let me give you snippets of what he said let me give you one or two reactions of nigerians and then we'll come back and then we'll continue please watch for the first time in our country the entire security sector Leaders are working as one. Armed forces, <laughs> intelligence communities, civil police, all others. I want to assure you, tell Nigerians that for the first time, maybe ever, more than ever before, we work as a team. One. One. And we are beginning to see the gains what we call Tinibu Games. Hundreds of bandits are killed today, every day. Tinibu Games. You move everywhere in our own country today, free of fear. Tinibu Games. Things are changing. These so-called Lakura or whatever you call them, they are making a mistake. Nobody ever dares Tinibu and win. Nobody. They have come at a wrong time. Nobody has ever defeated Tinubu. And you are going to be defeated. And we'll kick you out of Nigeria. This is a Nigeria of 2024. And this is a Nigeria where I can assure you the critics will be quiet. One after the other things will change in our country. And it's already changing. Go to the Niger Delta. Things have changed. Today, we have gotten to 1.8 million barrels of crude oil. We have not seen this for a long, long time. <laughs> Tinibu Games. South East is getting to be at peace with itself and with the rest of our country. The bandits are running left, right. Every single day, we are getting... People who are surrendering. I was talking with the general. As of today, even right now, we have places where we are receiving surrendered bandits. It's happening every day. And it will happen more. Just wait and see. Critics, we will shut you up. We will do that. And this now i'm just going to take two reactions to what you just heard now ali you tweeted he said laugh out loud all these people care about is money and more money they don't care about people's lives at all congratulations mr nohu ribado for this achievement i hope you live forever with all that money now black jesus tweeted he said i don't know about the others but the 1.8 million barrels a day and the south is getting to be at peace with itself is a big lie from the pit of hell this just tells you clearly that nigerians see the reality and missed all the lies and propaganda of these guys in government let's continue 
I keep asking myself if there is a different Nigeria for these people and our own is different. Although they don't pass through what we are passing through, so automatically they don't know the pains that Nigerians are going to trust me. So whenever they just come out, they just come to spill rubbish. You come out and say, hey, insecurity have gone in the southeast, in the this one, lies. You come out and say, oh, from now on what Nigerians will see. Yes, we've been seeing what Tinubu have been doing. He has been dealing with us heavily. So if there, there is nothing we are about to see that is new. There is no, there is nothing that we're about to see that is new. You can listen to him, a man that gra granted uh, that came to a conference and is supposed to speak about okay tangible things that have been done. You are rigmaroling around things that everybody is seeing the reality that this thing is a lie. Everybody is coming out to say, oh, this thing that you are saying is not true because people are seeing the insecurities all around. People are seeing the government, the policies not working. People are seeing the economy going down the drain people are seeing inflation at the highest level people are seeing the sufferings firsthand and then you are coming to try to tell them that oh the president is working and trust me all these things have gone as if it's another world they live in and there's another world for us because even the president himself we always come out and say oh uh, we, i know the pains you are fa facing this one is coming to actually he has taken the job of ajure Gilali and uh, what is his name by Onunuga. that's the newest you know by Onunuga in town trying to deceive gullible and you can't deceive nigerians because i keep saying it nigerians are the ones faced with the realities on a daily basis they are the ones on ground so no matter what you try to say no matter how you try to gas it don't go work because it don't be like say me i they face something first hand you want to deceive me say that thing where they face no beyond it don't go work and that is the case. That's what's actually happening. People are seeing the suffer first hand. You are trying to come and tell them that, oh, this thing we are doing, it is getting better. Getting better how? When every single day you are seeing it, that the situation is getting worse. And no matter how, they will now try to, you know, convince you. And I'm so glad that finally their camp is, the, 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 the enemies are receiving it from the receiving end. Their camp is on fire. The truth is that they will fight against themselves because of the level of greed they have. If one greed wants to overtake another one, now we say, stop there. Your greed is becoming too much. Let me show you all the revelation of Jackson Ude and when I come back, we'll wrap this up. Now, according to Jackson Ude, he said Tinubu Apabio on war part over 687 billion padded into the 2024 budget. He said things appear to be falling apart for President Bola Ahmed Tinubu and Senator Senate President Goswe Apabio over the 687 billion padded into the Nigerian 2024 budget of 27.5 trillion. He said, Insider told me that Tinubu is angry that whilst Apabio told him each of the 109 senators and 306 rep members were getting 3 billion and 1 billion each for their zonal intervention project fund makes a total of 687 billion padded into the 2024 budget only 250 million and 200 million got to the lawmakers investigations revealed that bulk of the fund which should have gone to the lawmakers for zonal intervention projects were splitted into different agencies to be awarded on contract to apabio's friends and cronies for instance, Senator Asuko Epeyong, Chairman Senate Committee on Niger Delta, who is a lackey of Apabio, used this position to ensure that most of the padded budget funds were rolled into the NDDC budget yet to be passed. More than half of the 1.9 trillion 2024 NDDC budget documented currently in my possession are for projects in Akwaibo State, where Apabio, where Apabio has special interest the 2024 ndc budget which i am currently studying is one of the most scandalous piece of document i have ever seen meanwhile about 78 senators have indicated interest to support the impeachment of apabio amongst them are the southwest Kakus members who are only waiting for the go ahead of the president before they can proceed with their plans now you can listen you've seen the expose right now let us take comments to this so I'm actually calling on the president to send two bills to the National Assembly. One, the first bill should be the death penalty. I wish that all these crimes are committed in China. And the answer would have been obvious. So we need a death penalty to be sent to the National Assembly as soon as possible. I don't know if they will pass it or not because most of them are the targets of the bill. 
Now, Ebe Fidelis tweeted, he said, the, tweet will, the truth will last, but it will surely come. Small, small, the truth will manifest. The current Senate president is the most corrupt person from being a governor, minister, and so many things. Now, who cares to know? Tweeted, he said, Oibo man, they fear to embezzle billions, but here in Nigeria, smoke is. Sleep and wake up the next day, you go here, billions embezzled by so 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 person. What manifesto did they use to create we Nigerian self? I'm telling you, that's a question to really ask. Let's take more tweets. Habibak tweeted, he said, I am glad the truth is unveiling by itself. As they say, there is no honor among thieves. I recall how Senator Ningi blew the alarm of three trillion that was padded into the 2025 budget for which he got suspended for. We all recall that story and it's really, really bad. Speaking the truth and get suspended for it. Now you've seen it right out of the legions of reaction. I just had to pick this few, you know, just to buttress how Nigerians feel about what is actually happening in the country. This is really bad. But let's get back to the video so that we can wrap this up. Now you've seen it right. Yes, there's tussle in the camp of the enemies. And the truth is that they are padding, they padded that budget. They 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 over -padded. If you see what these people are doing, notoriously doing, you it's unbelievable. You can't it's something that it is the, the level of padding of this budget, present budget. Man, no fit talk because at the end of the day you see criminality straight and they are doing it you without fear this is the only government where everybody they go thief they know they fear because they believe that they can't hold them responsible and that is why i agree with what that interviewers interviewee said the guy that was actually that granted that interview said if there is death penalty a lot of things would have changed how can you pad a budget to the to the tune of 600 and something billion if you are not a wicked soul and then what you want to do is that you want to collect that money pocket huh? because nobody is holding anybody responsible efcc have a boss that every time what he goes does is that he will come and talk he will come and he's a, he's, he's i don't know what he talks more than his actions every time he's coming he's a he's a he's a journalist Everything is coming to reveal. And if you know the kind of debt in the power sector, what have you done about it? If you know the kind of debt here, what have you done about it? Who have you, since when you enter office, who you don't catch? Oh, look at your day. Who, who you don't catch? Who you don't hold? Where you start case from beginning to the end? Who you don't grab? Why we know the year waiting is up? Every time you go call and grant interview, they tell us how dirty the system is. You think we don't know that the system was dirty before they appoint you go there? Your job no be to clean her. Huh? Why they always can't tell us how dirty? These are the things we are talking about. Nobody holds anybody responsible. So these guys can do anything and get away with it. And then at the end of the day, feel good about it. Because ah, what it go happen? Ah, yes, I go part the budget, nothing go happen. And that is the problem we are facing. That is why you can you see that they, they, they do they, there is no fear, there is no justice, nothing. The justice system they don't gather and put for pocket now. They have crippled it. In fact, nowadays everybody have seen that Wiki is one of the owner of the justice system in Nigeria and he has pocketed it. Using judges to to it, turning them to misgrants. And at the end of the day, what happens? Nothing. Nobody faces anything. Nobody's been, once you are connected to the ruling party, you do things and get away with it. And that is why you see a lot of, why would Apabio run things when he has seen there is a government of running things? If it's not wastage, it is embezzlement. If it's not embezzlement, there is a, you can't just every angle. So at the end of the day, he might go say, make a pad. And he go over Pana. You will see an agency for space research. They will go and put boreholes. They will go and put in that agency boreholes, 100 boreholes for Ikoi, 150 street lights in an agency that has nothing to do with that. That Nothing to do with that. Then they will now say one borehole, 100 and something million. That borehole is spiritual. Is it a borehole that you call out water and it start coming? 150 then you see street like one street like they go put a hundred and something million you wonder how these people they just steal unprovoked and these guys have money what are they stealing for for once for these people life do things for the people just do one for the people at least do one good in your entire life before you die but no because of how wicked some of them we just pack the money just eat some of them for the house you go spoil they don't mind than to give them to Nigerians to eat. That is why you are seeing the crisis have not started. When you elect people that are incompetent, that is what you get. That is what you get. 
in all portfolios, in all ministries. It, it's an all-round thing. That is why we can't see progress. And Nuri Bado is trying to convince Nigerians otherwise when they are the ones seeing the Shigi. <laughs> Amma must be a funny man. Let me drop this here, guys. Drop your comments in the comment section. We really love to hear from you. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so that whenever I drop a video, you'll be the first to be notified. Thank you for watching this video. Have a blessed day. I'll see you next time.